when you have a, a crisis, you can't just struggle with the past. Start from scratch, assume that you never had anything, assume that the past was like a bad movie. You just have to put it behind you, take a new fresh look, pick up and go forward. My mother said uh, there were very, very large uh, landowners uh, in Iran. And then my father's side eventually got into construction and development. They were very wealthy and comfortable, and financially we never ever felt any need for, for anything. Overnight, it, everything, all the security just went away. All of a sudden, there were demonstrations on the streets, and somebody said, Ayatollah Khomeini is coming, and the Shah decided that he was going to leave the country. As soon as he left the country, chaos replaced uh, security. There was just no law and order. We went in from being the top of the society to people who were now seeking refuge uh, from uh, night to night, all of a sudden become hunted. The revolutionaries issued execution orders for a number of our family members. In fact, my cousin, he was executed on, on his way to, to work. We all fled uh, the country and everybody left literally uh, with suitcases. Barbara and, and Paul and Cyrus went down to, to Florida and uh, they stayed with my in-laws. When I joined them three or four months later, we got a trailer and put, it, put a telephone in it and, and called it an office. I did anything and everything to start, but everything mostly was construction related. He's compassionate and he's honest. He's worked hard to achieve what he's gotten. He's been there for everyone. If we can help other people, that to me is probably the most important obligation that every one of us have in our lifetime. <laughs>